Hey, I'm Ted Vieira, and the, the video I just put out uh, before this one talking about the TCL uh, X100. It's the uh, teleconversion lens for the uh, for, for Fuji's X100 series. And um, since I put that video out, you know, I've been talking to people about it, answering questions, things like that, and it dawned on me through those conversations with people that I'd kind of forgot to mention three three fairly significant things. Um, and it's not that you probably wouldn't have figured it out on your own or anything like that, but they're significant enough. I wanted to do a quick follow-up video and cover those three things and, and talk a little bit more about my experiences since I did that last video. And um, okay, thing number one, the first thing I forgot is that if you're a big fan of the optical viewfinder on the uh, X100 series um, and you use it a lot, and you really don't like using the EVF, uh, this could be a game changer for you. Because, you know, you know, like if you have the lens hood on there, how much that, how much of that you can see in the optical viewfinder, this is way worse. <laughs> I mean, it takes up, and there's no vented uh, areas here. It's blocked. I mean, the whole viewfinder isn't blocked, but you're not going to want to shoot with the optical viewfinder with this. So if you really, you know, if that's a game changer for you, I just want to let you know about that before you even uh, tried it. Um, and okay, number two, two, if, uh, you use the, uh, on camera flash, ever noticed if you, again, back to the, using the hood reference, if you have the, uh, the lens hood on and you use the flash, you notice how like, kind of like the bottom left side of your, um, image is usually a little bit darker. You've got that dark <laughs> circular type shadow that comes from the lens hood way worse with this <laughs> it's way worse um so if you use your on-camera flash a lot it's not going to work with this lens uh converter so hey that's those are two things right uh the third thing is really it's not bad it's just something that you want to remember to do and that's to remember to go into your menu system and let the camera know that you've got the teleconverter on it now how you would do that she would actually t turn on the camera. Uh, go into the menu system. And you want to go over to the shooting menu. So it's the, the uh, red tabs. And you want to go down uh, to the third red tab on the shooting menu. The third red tab. Red tab number three. And in that menu, you'll see uh, near the bottom, it's going to say conversion lens conversion lens. Okay, so you would go over, go down to conversion lens. Probably can't see it that well on the screen. So conversion lens. Um, then select that. And in that option, you've got off would be the default. Or you've got the wide angle option if you're using the WCL, the wide conversion lens adapter. Or you can choose tele for the TCL, the one for the 50 millimeter focal length that I've got on here. So I had to choose Tele, and you said OK, and you can go back out. So that's um, that's the that's item number three. You just want to do that, and what that helps it helps the camera correct for uh, distortion uh, things like that that might happen having this extra chunk of glass on here. Um, so those are the three really important things that I wanted to kind of follow up with and let you know about. So I hope that helps, especially if those first two would be game changers for you and, and kind of break the deal on, on picking this up. I hope I got the information to you on time and you didn't just order it. Anyway, it's uh, it's an awesome lens. You know what? Um, since I've gotten so uh, attached to shooting at 50 millimeters these days, the 50 millimeter focal length, um, I don't want to take this off. I'm going to leave this on. This is basically going to be my my X100 setup unless I need that extra um, that extra width. And I need to, I need to shoot maybe a group or something like that. I don't want to back up that far. This is this is awesome. I've taken it out street shooting over the last couple of days. I've gotten uh, more images. Just really really happy with this. Oh, and uh, one more thing I want to let you know too. It's built pretty well. Last night I uh, went to the store, uh, made the late night food run, and I was in line at the checkout counter, and I didn't even hear it. 
but I had my I had my camera on the sh on my shoulder, and I didn't even hear it. But the conversion lens fell off the camera. Wow! Whoops! <laughs> right. So you want to make sure it's always screwed on really tight. I never wanted to tighten it too much because I didn't want it to lock on there or anything like that. But you do want to check and make sure it's on pretty tight because that does happen. Now you can see I've still got it on the on the camera. I checked it out. Um, the uh, lens cap was on it, luckily, because, man, look at that huge piece of glass in front. I thought for sure uh, this isn't going to be a happy ending because uh, the the uh, lens cap was pretty much smashed down and, and jammed inside the lens. And so that, you know, it's this, this glass is so heavy, it just went nose first off the camera. So the camera's still on my shoulder. Went down, smashed the lens cap into the lens. Now I got, I was able to pry the lens cap out, not easily, but I, but I did pry it out. Nothing got bent. The glass is still glass. <laughs> it works beautifully. I turned the camera on, took some shots. There was uh, no issues at all. So man, you know, and you know what uh, shopping, uh, what what's like a grocery store floor is like, right? <laughs> it's not something that you want to be dropping glass on. Um, and that's what, exactly what I did. I dropped the, the lens on there and it survived. It didn't even get bent. It, uh, nothing happened to its functionality at all and stuff like that. So man, built tough, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm Ted Vieira. I hope I get this information to you on time. I hope it's helpful. And, um, for me, I'm really glad I got this and it's going to, it's going to stay on my X100. I don't use the optical viewfinder. I loved it when the X100 first came out, but I mean, the EVF has just gotten so good. Um, I, 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 I just love seeing what the image is going to look like. So the EVF is the one for me, and I never use the on-camera flash. But if I do, I would just unscrew the TCL and uh, have the 35 millimeter lens to work with. So anyway, I hope this helps. If you have any more questions, <laughs> maybe I can do a third follow-up video. But if you have any more questions, just let me know, and um, I'll answer anything I can. Okay, uh, thanks, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.